okay hello everyone welcome back to a new video i haven't filmed in forever it's been over three months i think the last video i probably filmed was in march and that was when the whole pandemic thing started and honestly i've been so out of it i just haven't been in the mood to film with everything going on with all of the the virus stuff and just everything going on in the world i just feel like it's where do i even get the energy to film you know but anyways i am back with a new video and i'm so excited for this video because it's going to be like a little series because i am working on something that's so exciting for me um i'm going to be making a cardigan a harry styles cardigan and if you're a stan if you're not a stan there's this there's this one cardigan that he wore on one of his um presentations that he did and i'll i'll pop it up right here so you guys can see where i'm coming from and yes everybody has been doing it i've seen it on tiktok and i feel like i have to do it too because i love this man i don't know if you guys know but i've been a harry styles one direction fan since i was like 12 and i kind of like stopped for a little bit because back then it was kind of like people make fun of you but i didn't care i was still listening to my one direction i still listen to my one direction and out of all of them harry had my heart always i had a thing for guys with curly hair i probably still do but um yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys the process of me working on this and i say process because it's gonna be i don't know how long it's gonna be it's probably gonna be as many colors as in the cardigan because i'm i've just started i started with the orange parts because that's the easiest so this is gonna be a part one and so i'll be posting weekly or however long it takes me to make these things i've been working on it for like three days already i'm a kind of a beginner i've been knitting and crocheting for for a long time because of my mom she's she's taught me how to do all of these things but i'm not very fast so i'm still considered a beginner so yeah i'm going to be showing you guys my process my process in case you guys would want to make one too or even if it's not this specific you guys can just change up the colors or make it one color if you want and i'm sure you guys my methods to making these things because this is the way i'm doing it and there's a whole bunch of other people doing it too and i've only watched a couple of videos and i watched one other girl and she's making hers in panels and i'm making mine in pieces so i will link her down below if you feel like you're a little bit more advanced and you feel like you want to make yours in panels too so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys the materials the yarn i'm using everything i'm doing the steps and the process the how to start it off and how to do the points the stitch the, the stitch pattern that i'm using for this specific color and how i close it off just in case you know i want to show you guys everything so yeah without further ado i'm going to be showing you guys the materials the the yarn size the yarn brand and everything so yeah let's get to it okay so this is the brand of yarn that i'm working with it's impeccable i got this at michael's so you guys can probably order online or go to your local michael's and this is 349 a piece and it's a pretty bulky piece so it's pretty good the original pattern is actually chunky yarn but i don't i didn't want a thick sweater so i just kind of went with this one and this one is a four in thickness i guess you could say and this is actually pretty soft compared to other brands that i've used that are this thick so to me this is a pretty good pretty good thickness for the sweater because i don't want it too thick and i don't want it like thin but hard you know and this is actually perfect so this is again from the brand impeccable the color is orange crush and this was 349 a piece like i said and so this says to use a five millimeter what are they called i don't even know what they're called ojas that's what i call them in spanish it says to use 
what did I say? 11 millimeter. But I am using, I'm using six and a half millimeters because I felt like it was too, it was too, a uh, five millimeter was too small. Folk. Well, it doesn't want to focus, but these are a 6.5 millimeter um, thingy bajiggers. And it says to use a five millimeter crochet hook. And I'm also going to be using a crochet hook to show you guys the method that I am using. So this is a five millimeter, five millimeter crochet hook. Oh my God, ignore my nose. Um, five millimeter crochet hook for the way that I am doing it. And this is 127 grams, so it has it has a lot. And I will be basing off the original pattern. So let me show you guys. So like I mentioned, I will be using the original pattern of J. W. Anderson. His his um, pattern that he used, he actually put it on his Instagram, so you can just go on his Instagram and download download this pdf for yourself so you could, could just kind of go through it all and like i mentioned in this he, he used super chunky weight yarn but i am not because i would use a lot so those are the colors that you need red black orange yellow green and blue and these are the patterns so i would be starting on the orange one because i felt like the orange one was the easiest and this is a garter stitch and it said knit row for every 14, 14 centimeters so if you go on jw anderson's pattern um you can see that he has different like sections like this is back this is left right and the sleeves so you're gonna kind of if you feel like you need to print this out maybe do that or just kind of like write jot down how many so for the back orange oh, i need four squares so four for the back two for the left two for the right so that's six seven eight nine ten so i need ten oranges so then you would just kind of do that with the different colors so then you would just see i need four red here two red another two red and one red so i would just kind of do do the math to see how many of each squares it is that i need to make so yeah i just had to put this put this in here just in case i didn't mention and like it wasn't obvious but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead keep working on my patch let me show you guys please ignore this this is like glue or something from one they made my vanity so let me just put that right there so let me go ahead and show you guys the color of each of my yarns because i couldn't exactly find every single color that he used like burnt orange this is this is an orange like orange soda or whatever but i really i really like this shade of orange and it's close to the the orange that is used in the cardigan so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the name of the color. So just in case you guys want to purchase the same colors as me from this brand on Michael's. So. so. I got a good feeling. I'm just taking it all in. Floating up and dreaming. And for the blue one, I actually had to go with a different brand because they didn't have it in this brand. So this is the brand for this one. And it's just the exact same thickness. So four. And I'll be using my six and a half millimeter. What are they called? I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, this is the shade. And I believe those are the co all the colors. And if I didn't, I'll just go over it again in my other videos, step by step. Your own, you would kind of have to measure out exactly what size you want. I am basing off the original measurements because I like how the size of his is oversized and everything. So on the 
on the pattern it said 14 stitches but it was 14 stitches because it's chunky yard this isn't chunky yard but i wanted the 14 centimeters so you're gonna have to get a ruler a yard stick a whatever you know anything that you can measure so i'm doing 14 centimeters and for this for this it is 28 28 stitches so i'm gonna go ahead and start so i could show you guys everything and all the process so this video isn't longer than what it should be so i'm gonna be using the leftover yarn that i have because i already started oops i already have pieces and like i mentioned at the beginning i am doing piece by piece because i want it to be easier for me in a way and just stitching everything in the end will be easier so let's get started so to start off i will be using my crochet hook and the easiest way to get the, to get the first one started is to just kind of roll your yarn around your fingers and then just put another piece in and then do that get your hook and then just make it make it small so you just tighten it up from this side the side that's attached to the rest of your yarn to make it tight like this so one more time just wrap it around your fingers and put a little piece in there close it and put your yarn and just pull the side so like I mentioned I'm going for 14 centimeters but you guys can do in any size that works for you so you can go 10 centimeters and so like it would have to be a square so it would be 10 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters long so it could just you can customize it to your size but like i mentioned i'm going with the original size and also if you feel like you don't know, really know what size you can just kind of get pieces of paper and then draw out these boxes and cut them out and like i mentioned there's this other girl that was doing them and she kind of showed like different squares and so you can just kind of put them onto your body because it's four four patches of the colors in length and you would just kind of measure and see how long you would want them so they could fit to your liking so i am doing four, 14 centimeters and 14 centimeters for me is is 24 stitches okay so to start off you're gonna kind of want to do this like put the yarn that's coming from your ball from your and put it over your index finger and this is how you're gonna want to hold it so with the hook you're gonna want to wrap it around like this grab it with a piece of hook and then just into the little circle just like that super easy super easy so I'm gonna do it again so you guys can see okay so again loop it around and end loop it around and in and you don't want to leave it too tight because you can kind of feel when it's tight you can feel it that is tight because you won't be able to get the hook in so you just kind of want to go you just kind of want to go with a pretty light hand and just until you get to your desire so i will do 24 and i'm not even counting how many i have i'm just going but if you don't count you can this is why you need your ruler you're going to need your ruler at all times and you just kind of keep going and so let's see and this one is still at 10 centimeters i don't know if you guys can see that but that's still at 10 centimeters so we just keep on going and so once you kind of 
know how many stitches you have you would just kind of count instead of always have to measure it and this is how you count these you start here at the bottom so it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I need three more. Now go ahead and do these. 1, 2, and 3. That was kind of, that's too loose. So if, it's, if you look at it and it's too loose, it's not like the rest of yours, you can just easily undo them then just go ahead this is the easy part and if you want we can measure it see that it's 14 and it is 14 right here so when you start counting you don't actually count when you do your first little knot you're not right here that doesn't count as one this doesn't count as one is until you actually start the stitches so now that we have our little chain is when we're going to start working with these. Let me look. I have to find a word. Hold up. Okay, it turns out they're just called needles. So I know we're using needles. So this is the step that is going to be kind of hard, but it's going to be much more easier. My mom said this actually saves you save yourself from using a lot of yarn because there's this one method where you kind of have to go like this to do what i'm about to show you guys but my mom says she doesn't like that because it's, it's it's a waste of yarn so this is what we do so we go here and this last little loop right here this last loop right here you're gonna want to leave it kind of kind of wide open not too tight but not too loose so now what you're gonna do is you're going to go into this next loop right here and you're just gonna put your your hook in there and then you're gonna grab your yarn right here from here with the hook and then slide that through slide that through and once again don't leave it too too tight because we're going to be transferring this right here into our needles so once again and there we grab it with our little hook and then there and make sure you grab it onto the right ones you don't want to like miss miss a point miss a stitch so we go you go you grab you hook you pull you go, you grab and pull. You go, grab and pull. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this. And to kind of make it easier for you guys, once you're at like this middle part, you're gonna wanna hold this part of your stitches so hold it like this while also keeping the yarn hooked onto your finger and you want to kind of like try to hook towards your finger so you hook in towards your finger and you grab it and you just pull it out so like you're just kind of holding this one and you're kind of like just letting this go a little bit but not too much so you don't struggle so yeah, you just kind of just want to go in and grab it with your finger, like holding it, and then just keep keep on sliding through. So you use that as to kind of like hold, I'm kind of holding in there, and then just pull it out. Okay, so right here you're going to want to count all of your stitches, and apparently I have 22. So I'm actually going to redo this and make sure I have my 24 before I can actually keep going and showing you guys because I don't want to mess up. But it's okay to start over because it's 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 only human. So yeah, I'm doing 24 because I know this that's the amount of stitches that I want for it to be 14 centimeters. And this isn't the ruler that I was using so I might have something to do with that. So yeah, just like 
stick with your same measurements and yeah so i'm gonna kind of do like a time lapse of me just fixing this because it is gonna take me a little while so yeah and i don't want to make this video longer so i'm gonna go ahead and fix it and then come back once i'm showing you guys how to transfer this onto the needle so i'll be right back okay so i kind of got it to focus now so like i was mentioning there's not much science to it you kind of just want to take one out and just put your needle in just kind of go through here at the bottom and push this hook out but just very carefully like one at a time like try to find your method and what's more comfortable for you like sometimes i go through here to the back where I try to grab a couple and then just push the hook out and then like make sure to like just kind of push these down a little bit so they don't fall out and then I just keep on doing the same thing just grab it and then just pull it out grab it and pull it out Grab it, pull it out. Grab, pull out. And make sure you just keep me moving the rest to the bottom so they don't like bunch up to the top and like feel like they're slipping out. So it's like as if you were already working with both of the needles. Once you kind of have all of them together, you just kind of want to move them up a bit. fix them direction just kind of move them so they're not so tight because when they're tight you can hear this that's how you know things are tight so you kind of want to fix it kind of count them make sure you didn't you didn't lose one in the process or a 12 16 20 24 okay so there are 24 right here so we want to get our needle and we want to get our left hand right here i'm right-handed so I, it, it might be different for you if you are left-handed if you are i'm sorry this is the way that i know how it works so this is what i'm doing that works for me so we're gonna take our yarn that's hanging from our ball or our little stack right here and we are going to take it this is how i hold it and this is how i find it easy because i see some people that do it and then they flip it over and i feel like that that's harder to me actually so you're gonna want to hold these two like in between your thumb and your index finger and then put the rest of the yarn that we will be using on top of this finger on top of our index finger just like this so just like this this is this is what I find that works and then for this you you just kind of have to figure out what position works for you this is this is kind of the position that works for me this is how I'm holding it in between my thumb and my index finger so to do the garter stitch this is the easiest stitch to do which is the reason why i started doing with the orange first because it was the garter stitch so you kind of want to put your needle through the back if you can't put it through the back you feel like it's too tight you can start at the front and then make your way to the back so you kind of want to have this angle right here and you want to grab your yarn under and then just pull it out and with both of my thumbs i'm holding it on this end so it doesn't it doesn't fall out and i'm holding it this one so i can kind of pull it and so there we have our first one and you don't want this too tight either so not too tight or too loose so if it's too loose you can just pull it from here on this screen and make it so that it can go through this other side loosely without it being tight so again we go in through the back we pull right here and we pull in through our hoop loop 
circle right there and then just kind of push off like this so it can fall off and there and once you keep practicing a little bit more once you're in this this little stage right here where you have the loop you kind of measure how how big everything is and it won't be so tight you'll kind of have like an idea of how much tension you want to have on the on the yarn and you just keep going and the beauty about this stitch right here is that well hold up i really don't know what it's called it's like knit and purr knit and purr i really don't know the difference i just know like in spanish it's like revés or derecho and so right here we're just like going in one in one direction haha <laughs> puns so we're just going in like one direction which is the easiest so we're just going like this when we start like when we get to the other when we get all of our points to the other needle we're just going to keep going in the same direction like we're not going to be changing absolutely anything which is the beauty about this one like this stitch in particular like i mentioned and if i didn't explain myself so good like there's a whole bunch of tutorials that you could watch um i didn't really have to watch any because like i mentioned my mom is kind of like a pro in this stuff and i kind of just show her show her the pattern of stuff and she could just easily tell me or i show her the videos and she could just give me some more instructions so but i did watch one video and it kind of it kind of made sense it helped me in the sense of where i could help you guys or explain myself so i could help you guys a little bit and so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this row off and show you guys that is the same way when we start the new the new line we can just oh, push them back so we can see and that was our first line and so when you get started and you're counting how long and everything you kind of figure out how many rows you see like you'll need so let me go ahead and do another one and show you guys that it is absolutely the same thing so right here we grab our yarn this way we pull this up we pull these up and then we get our other needle and we go to the back and we pull it and then we let go and we kind of push this one out so it could go like there you go little buddy and then again like this one i'm well i was having a hard time but you can just go through the through the front and then make your way to the back and then just loop and it can be a little bit harder to loop it around but you just kind of you just kind of got to work with it that's why you find like the position that works for you like right here i'm holding here so it doesn't fall out and then right here i just kind of like use my index finger to kind of like push it off the other needle and yeah you just kind of got to work with your hands and see what's what works for you and what doesn't so i'm gonna keep going and then i'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about what i'm doing with my pattern okay so like I mentioned with sizes, I am going for the original sizing and that is 14 centimeters. So since everything is a square, it would have to be 14 by 14. So since everything is 14 by 14, like once once you kind of get the hang of the length, you I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like this pattern and there's like rows so you would kind of like count these like i have 16 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 well 17 17 with the top row but usually they they there are 16 rows so when you're you're in the process you kind of just want to count like how many you have 16 or and if you don't want to count if you feel like your shape is kind of weird like just always keep 
your ruler like this right here is 14 centimeters like right at the top like that is 14 14 centimeters and it's kind of like a tip of how to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the one i was working on so i could get to show you guys how i close it off so that's probably gonna take me a while uh, i'm gonna time myself and see how long it takes me so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'll come back and show you guys how to close it off so we could have this little part sealed off and we can do our next one so yeah i'll be right back we're gonna go ahead and measure here's our centimeters and that is 14. so now i'm gonna show you guys how i finish it off and i finish it off by using the crochet hook because i feel like it's easier well my mom showed me that it was easier doing it this way so we take our hook and it's gonna be as if we're using our other needle but instead of keeping our stitches right here we're going to turn them into one so we position our yarn like we've been working and we go through the back we grab our yarn once we grab our yarn we bring it out we make this one come out just like that so this looks kind of weird but i promise you once we're like halfway in it's a little bit better so again we go in and if like i said earlier if you can get it directly through the back you go through the front and you just travel to the back you travel to the back and we grab some yarn with our hook and we pull it through pull it through and right here this one we're gonna grab it and we're going to put it in through the first one and then let this one go so again so you just kind of again go from the front and then you grab your hook and you try to Get your string onto the hook and as you can see I was kind of struggling because it's hard to record and do this at the same time we do this in through the hole once and out through the other hole and then let go if you happen to let go in the middle of getting this string through this hole over here it is perfectly fine because it's gonna have to come out in a way so let me do one so like this and if it comes out as long as you put it in right here and like when a little string like this just happens to come out you can just take your hook out and make sure you have all your pieces in so yeah okay so now i'm on the last little loop right here and let me show you guys how to finish it off so we're gonna do the same we go in grab our piece if it lets go it's fine and make sure this goes into our last one so you want to kind of pull this down so it could be tight and then pull this too so we can have another little loopy thing so now we do another one we kind of pull it out pull again i like to leave it like this much let me measure it for you guys because you know we got to be specific mm, this is like two centimeters you can see right there that's like two centimeters and then we're done i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off and i leave a little bit not too much not to exaggerate and i cut right there and there we have our first square done well, in my case, I've already done a total of eight, I believe. Let me go ahead and count them. And I've just been placing them in the order that I've been making them. So, seven, eight, nine. I have nine, so I have one more to make, and I'll probably finish it tonight. So, yeah, this is it. Okay, so it's been a long day. Well, not really. I really don't remember when I started filming, but I finished my square and this is part one so if you guys enjoyed it please give this a thumbs up um 
I'm going to start editing, editing this right away and go ahead and finish in my other parts of the orange. So then I'm going to go ahead and start with another color and I will be recording the process so I can kind of like be uploading while I make things. So I have nine. I need one more. So I'll be posting a part two as soon as I start working on another color. I'm not sure what color I'm going to work on. Um, and I'm going to make sure I have like three done first before I start. Because for these, the pattern didn't start looking legit until maybe like the fourth square or something. Like, let me show you guys my first one. And it wasn't the best, honestly. You can see how it's not straight. But I mean, I'm making it myself, so like, I'm pretty proud. Like, by now, I would have given up, honestly. But yeah. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for my return on YouTube. And I'm also going to be filming some more stuff. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Or you can um, send me a message on my Instagram. I'll pop it up right here. Send me a DM or something on either one of my accounts. So if you have any questions, if you need any help or anything. And I still have a little piece one ball of this four ounces i did nine and i still have a little piece left so yeah uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon when i work on my second part of the cardigan which i don't know when it's going to be uploaded but thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and leave me a comment or whatever if you listen to Harry Styles, let me know your favorite song. If you watched till the end, look up a Harry Styles lyrics and comment it so I know y'all watched it till the end. Okay, so I'll see y'all soon. Bye!